Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about services patterns, structure of growth, government policies and challenges in India for UGC NET. And topics for today's video are meaning of service sector, patterns and structure of service sector in India like travel and tourism sector, telecommunication sector, health and education sector, insurance sector. And we will also see government policies for this sector and challenges faced by Indian service sector. So let's start it. So what do you mean by service sector? Service sector also known as tertiary sector. Service sector also known as tertiary sector. And service sector mainly provide services rather than producing goods and services. And service sector mainly divided into three parts, business service, social service and personal services. Business services include uh, banking, insurance, transportation and warehouse servicing. And social services include health and education services, fire services, etc. And personal services include recreational services like travel and tourism services. Service sector play very important role in growth of Indian economy. And service sector contributes over 50% in GDP of India. But COVID pandemic have adverse effect on service sector. That's why share of service sector in India's GVA declined. It was 55% from 2019 to 2020, but it remain only 53% from 2021 to 2022. And service sector provide jobs to 30.7% of India's population. Now we will see pattern and structure of growth of some uh, important service sector in India. First of all, we are going to talk about tourism. Tourism is part of service sector and major engine of economic growth and important sources of foreign exchange earning. And India has provided so many tourism services like adventure, cruise, medical, eco and heritage. And this sector have capacity to create large scale employment. In 2024, India's travel and tourism sector expected to contribute around dollar two hundred fifty six point one billion to country's GDP, which is ten point four percent of total GDP. This sector is expected to create 2.45 million jobs in 2024 and international visitor spending is expected to grow more than 17% and domestic visitor spending is expected to grow 9.6%. In 2023, travel and tourism sector employed 43 million people which is 8% more than in 2019. Now we will see telecommunication. Telecommunication is also part of service sector and telecommunication network transfer information in digital form. For example, internet cable, TV networks, mobile networks, telephone, landline networks, etc. And India's telecommunication network is second largest in world by number of telephone users, both fixed as well as mobile phone with 1.1 billion subscriber as uh, December 2023. And earlier uh, India's telecom sector was crowded with so many competition like Vodafone, Airtel, Idea, Reliance, Aircel, Tata, etc. But now there is only four dominating players like Jio, Airtel, VI and BSN. Telecom sector's gross revenue in 2024 is estimated to be 3.36 trillion India's rupees which is slight increase from 2023. India is developing 6G technology also and plan to launch this commercial service around 2030. Now we will see health and education sector. Health and education sector are very important service sector and very challenging also and these services are provided by both public sector as well as private sector. And India's healthcare industry has been growing at the compound annual growth rate around 22 percent since 2016. As of 2024, healthcare sector has largest employers. It is employing total 7.5 million people. 
the healthcare sector in India contributed 2.1 percentage of country's GDP in financial year 2023. This is an increase from 1.6 percentage in 2021 and 1.2 percentage in 2020. And India's government has proposed to increase this 2.5 percentage by 2025. Now we will see education sector in India. India's education sector is one of the world largest service sector with 1.46 million schools and 230 million students in K-12 education. Country also have more than 43,000 degree colleges and 1,100 universities. And education sector in India is continuous growing and government of India is making so many policies to improve the quality of education. Government has implemented policies like national education policy, Skill India mission to enhance education outcome. Government also launched Skill India digital platform to make skill development. Now we are going to talk about insurance. Insurance also part of service sector. India is expected to become world sixth largest insurance market by 2034. And government has increased the limit on foreign direct investment in insurance company to 74% from 49%. Means now foreigner can invest in insurance companies of India up to 74%. Government also introduced a flagship crop insurance policy in 2016. Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana in 2016. Now we will see government policies and schemes to promote a service sector in India. National Tourism Policy 2002. This policy is created by government to boost tourism industry in India. Travel for Life Program. This program was launched in India on World Tourism Day 2023 and main objective of this program to educate people about sustainable tourism. National Telecom Policy 1994. And main aim of this policy is to make telecommunication available for all including villages. And the Prime Minister Wi-Fi Access Network Interface. This program approved by Union Cabinet in 2020. And main aim of this program to provide affordable high-speed internet connectivity, particular to rural area through National Wild Public Wi-Fi Network. National Health Policy 2017. Aimed of this policy to improve well-being of all people of India. And this policy aimed to increase government spending on health care to 2005% of GDP by 2025. National Education Policy 2020 and National Education Policy 2023 have aimed to improve the education system and make India a global hub for skilled talent. Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana 2015 and aimed of this policy to provide affordable life insurance. Now we will see challenges faced by service sector in India. Complexity of regulation. There are so much rule and regulation on service sector. For example, education sector is regulated by multiple agencies. There is lack of infrastructure. For example, there is lack of transportation. Mismatch in skill. That means the skill actually need to work in service sector and the skill we learn through education institution don't match with each other. Uh, technology adoption. In India, many service sector haven't adopted latest technology. There is limited finance. Because of limited finance, there is lack of research and development. And demonetization also create adverse impact on service sector. And GST also create negative impact on service sector because GST increase cost of service on end user. So this is all about service sector. I think you got it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.